G'day guys, welcome to a hot and sunny Melbourne day. Uh, in my last video I went through an unboxing of the Beretta 694. Today we're going to be shooting the gun, I'll have a shot camera on board. We'll be able to see how the gun performs and I'll be taking through Olympic Trench and down the line. Um, after that we'll, uh, we'll come back, we'll have a bit of a talk about the gun and I'll give you guys a bit of a review and how I felt about it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so in true Melbourne fashion, the weather took a bit of a turn for the worst. I would have loved to have wrapped this up at the gun club, but um, we are expecting some storms and adverse weather, so I decided to just wrap things up at, back here at home. Um, I found the gun was fantastic, it performed really well, it was exactly what I was looking for. Um, I was looking for a gun that could shoot both DTL and trench quite efficiently, and this ticked all my needs. Um, so coming up, I'll show you five targets that I've chosen from down the line to share and also from Olympic Trap. Um, we'll go through those, I'll let you guys have a look, and then um, we'll discuss the gun of finer detail and, and how things went. So I did manage to get one round of Olympic Trap and also one round of down the line in before the weather took a turn for the worst. The Olympic Trap was shot using 24 gram shells and the down the line was shot using 28 gram shells. The same chokes were used in both Olympic Trap and also down the line. I didn't make any changes there. I was very happy with how the gun patterned in both disciplines. The gun felt very smooth and very easy to move around. And if you have a close look, you'll be able to see a few mistakes that I made and I was able to rectify that nice and easy. Okay, so that was just a quick 10 targets, just to highlight um, how I went with the gun. What I really liked about it is I've found it hard in the past to find a gun that could do both down the line and also Olympic trap disciplines. Um, this jumps across both disciplines quite easily. I was able to adjust the stock and bring the stock down a little bit lower um, to, shoot, to, to be able to shoot the Olympic trap. So by, um, by lowering the stock, I went to a 70-30 shot pattern. So 70% above my point of impact and 30% below. Um, then when I go back to down the line, I'll put the shims back in place and I'm back up to a 90-10. Uh, a so 90% above my point of impact and 10% below to suit my down the line needs. One thing that really, really surprised me about this gun and something that was completely unexpected was I was able to shoot this gun with both eyes open. Now, for me, that is a little bit of a challenge because I'm left eye dominant, but right-handed. Um, so generally when I shoot, I shoot with a pair of um, shooting glasses and I have a little bit of tape over my dominant eye to block out the left eye from taking over the right. Um, with this gun, I'm able to shoot with both eyes open and it's not a problem and I don't need any, any aids to, to help me with that. Um, the reason for this that I believe is that Beretta have shaped the stock in such a way that they've removed material from it um, just before the receiver group and it gives you a larger field of vision. I'll bring you guys in nice and close and we'll have a look at that. Okay guys, so here you can see on, on both sides of the stock where the material has been removed and what this does is it allows for a greater field of view in front of you. Now it absolutely works, I found it great, but what I didn't expect was I'd be able to shoot this gun with both eyes open and I wouldn't need any um, any shooting glasses or any eye patches or anything of that nature. So I'm not saying that this is a, um, that this is gonna necessarily work for everyone, but this definitely worked for me. It was something that I was very surprised by and did not expect. So to summarize how today went, it was probably some of the best shooting that I've, that I've ever ever experienced um, and that really comes down to the gun it made a massive difference it was very effortless uh, the gun felt very fast and I can get the gun to where it needed to be to break the targets the action was very smooth and the gun is very very well balanced um, it, it is very very easy gun to shoot holding the gun itself it feels very comfortable it feels very nice and sits well in the shoulder the palm swell also fills the palm of my hand quite nicely. It's not too big, it's not small, it's, it's just the right amount. 
One thing that I did do was I changed the recoil pads over so I put the thicker, the thicker recoil pad on the back of it and that's just to suit my length of pull which made a massive difference. Um, the only thing that I would change about it and this just comes down to personal preference is I would swap out the flush mount chokes for a set of extended chokes. Uh, reason being is when I'm in competition and have the gun broken open I like to rest the barrels on the end of my foot or also on the ground and with a flush mount choke um, it's more likely to scratch or damage the tip of the barrels which I want to avoid so going to extended choke would, uh, would sort of eliminate that but that is the only reason why I would do that. Overall I'm, I'm very happy with the gun and there is nothing that would really change about it straight out of the box it's, it's ready to go. Um, the great thing about Beretta as well is that when I purchased the gun, uh, their customer service is phenomenal. So if I did need the stock cut down or the pitch or the heel taken out, I could send it back and, and they would do that at no extra charge, um, which is something that's, that's quite nice. So yeah, just to, just to cap off, I, I had a really great day. Um, I'm happy that I purchased this gun and it's made a massive difference. I'm excited to see uh, what sort of scores I'm going to post up in the future and where this gun can take me. Uh, thanks for staying tuned. Uh, if you guys like this video, if um, there's anything that you'd like to ask, send it through a private message and I'll get back to you guys. I'll make through future videos and provide content that you guys will enjoy. Thanks very much guys.